So many people have been made redundant. Unfortunately, this is a situation we can't control. If you find yourself to be in this position, I truly empathize with you. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the industries where you can focus on and what to do to be able to transfer the skills that you have. Welcome to another episode of Career Level Up, where I share truths and tips to help you level up on your career journey. If you are new to my channel, you're very welcome. My name is Mujisela Obazwaye. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, do click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell button so you can be notified when I share a brand new video on my channel. Online delivery company like Amazon have been reported to have employed up to 200,000 people since lockdown. This is an industry that is going to be thriving for a long, long time. As we all know, if you need anything from Amazon at the moment, they can still deliver to you. So be a kind of sector to be looking to get into. Also, sectors like tech are always employing. If you have specific skills, engineering, IT, design, they are always looking for people. Mm. The pharmaceutical industry, they are on their toes now, doing a lot of work, preparing protective gear, doing more research to be able to help with the current situation. That sector might be also a place to consider at this present time. Yeah. Medical is another field to get into. I actually have a recruitment consultant friend who said since lockdown, it's been crazy for them. Medical field, they're taking cleaners, social care assistants. So depending on the skills and the experiences that you have, you may be able to transfer some of this experience into some positions in this sector. Online retail is also a sector to look into. I know a lot of physical stores or the brick and mortar stores have stopped functioning, at least for now. As the nations are beginning to gradually reopen, some stores are still not going to open. So for example, Debenhams went into administration so that means Debenhams will not be going back to their regular brick and mortar operation. So if you have unique skills that you can use in online retailing, like e-commerce, you're a buyer, this is a time to consider transferring those skills into online retailing. What can you do online? Can you help with merchandise planning, placing product on e-commerce website. If there's any way you can function, you can transfer some of the skills you have in the brick and mortar stores into online retailing. This is the time to explore that. Communication, social media, they are actually thriving at the moment because brands still want that employee engagement. They are using social media to talk about what they are doing in their organization, how they are supporting their employees, how they are contributing to community or the society, because every employer wants to be number one. So they want to be known for their CSR, corporate social responsibilities. Many organizations are talking about exactly how they are helping. For example, Amazon is talking about how they've delivered iPads to many care homes. So if you have any experience in communication, copywriting, social media management, you have some Google Analytics knowledge, now is the time to begin to look to transfer those skills into some of those industries. You have logistics and supply chain, the likes of DHL, the likes of UPS, those logistics companies, they are taking on more people at the moment. One of the ones that I, I personally am exploring is online education because I'm teaching a lot online and I'm also learning a lot online. So whatever it is you can do at the moment, look for a way to transfer the skills and experience that you have from before in your previous position to this new area and new field that are thriving at the moment in this space of lockdown. So don't wait for things to go back to normal. Is the time for you to plan and adapt to the new normal that we have found ourselves in. This is a change we have to embrace. So here are some pointers that you can actually embrace. Update yeah. your resume, focusing on the skills that are transferable and the goals that you have achieved. That's the number one thing to consider right now. For example, coaching skills. I was responsible for training and coaching new employees. Something like that. 
or I was responsible for updating the profile of our global customers on our in-house wiki that will be relevant to any online or online retail or e-commerce so the second thing to do after updating your resume is to also update your linkedin profile writing the headline very clearly and also the summary clearly make sure that it is precise it is straight to the point is showcasing your transferable skills and your achievements your previous role what did you achieve in this role? Were you in sales? Were you the top sales person? Bring it to the fore when writing the summary. You are focusing more on those transferable skills. It means things you've done before in your previous positions, you can now bring to a different sector, or a different organization, or to a different job opportunity. That's what you're looking to do. Once you update your LinkedIn profile, don't just leave it there and do nothing about it. Now is the time for you to engage uh, to get that professional visibility from recruiters. Recruiters are the ones who add on. They are the ones seeking people to fill the positions in their organization. So basically, you want to focus on building a professional engagement on LinkedIn. This is a professional platform that you can leverage to get a professional visibility by recruiters who are head hunting to fill these particular positions in these particular industries. So ensure to be professional about your engagement. Now is the time for you to begin to prepare for your interview. The kind of interviews recruiters are using now, they are totally different from the face-to-face -face interview whereby you can actually prove and demonstrate that you're likable, that you can do the job. But it's totally different when you're looking at someone from the screen of your computer. So if you practice, 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 you'll be able to ace those interviews. I have a video on how to ace your audio interview, and I also have one on how to ace your video interviews. Check them out and use them to practice, practice, practice. Lately, many recruiters are using many social media channels to actually add on. They are looking for people on Facebook, on Twitter, if you are looking for a position, you can have fun online, but this is not the time to go online and start twerking. Employers are looking for serious people. This is the time to showcase your skills, your strength, your achievement. This is the time to focus in, on what's on ground, finding or landing a new opportunity in a different sector. This is not the time to use your social media to do whatever is not acceptable, the work world. You can have fun on social media. You can show your personality. However, be careful what you share because some people have actually lost the opportunity to get a position because of what they've done online. Showcase what you can do that can be an added advantage to you online. So if it happens that you can't do some of these things yourself, this is the time to hire a professional to help you on your journey. I'll share a little story with you. In January of 2018, I actually finished my postgrad, which is a level nine master's program. I actually found it really challenging to get a job. It was really hard for me to actually get called or shortlisted for an interview. I've, at that time, I do have up to 10 years professional working experience and I do have a lot of transferable skills. Unfortunately, nothing was forthcoming for me. I finished in January of 2018. Before then, I took a little career break after my redundancy. I launched my own online business. It was also a good time for me to be a stay-at-home mom to mind my children. So I was working from home. I was doing social media management for many global organizations from different parts of the world. That was my job and I was doing it from home, including YouTube content creation, blog writing. But I was ready to go back to corporate, to go back to the real world to work while I'm doing my business alongside. So what I did was I hired a professional, I hired a career coach and I invested in myself. I'm telling you, less than one month working with this professional, I actually landed my first opportunity, which I took on just to get me going. It was for me to help them set up a retail store. So I went on 
And I started that. I continue to apply to different organizations that I'm truly interested in working in. The ones whose uh, core values actually match the vision that I have for my career path, for my purpose, and for who I want to be. Two weeks into that, I actually got a call to be interviewed in this organization. And I went there and I aced my interview. What am I saying? I'm able to share all these things with you now. One, because I've invested truly in myself, monetarily, by continuous learning and development, by asking for help. So I've been able to get ahead and level up. For, for me personally, one of the things that I do is that I coach people through their interviews. I coach them through their CV. I tell them what to do, what not to do. And that was why I decided to launch this particular segment of my channel called Career Level Up. So if you need help, I'll put my email right there on the screen for you. Do reach out to me and let me know how I can help you. I'll finish with this quote from Abraham Lincoln that says, I will keep preparing and someday my chance will come. So be extremely patient. Sometimes you try and try and try and nothing seems to be coming. Be kind to yourself. These are some of the things I've had to train myself to do when nothing was forthcoming for me. I got busy. I trained my mind, got myself involved in exercise, fitness, working out. It took my mind away from the things I couldn't achieve and it helped me to stay in that positive light. And then I connected with a mentor who actually encouraged me to take a more junior position. A more junior position was what, what actually made a way for me. So there's so much inside of you that you want to give, but if a more junior position is knocking on the door, please do open, take it on board, over deliver on that position. And that's how to get progression. You probably won't get the role you want at this time right now, but there's always something out there for you if you truly look. So don't just wait for things to go back to normal. Embrace the new normal and use the experience that you've had before, the skills that you can transfer into a new position and your achievement to get yourself in front of recruiters and then continue to prepare for interviews so when you eventually get called, you can ace those interviews and use those long years of experience of yours to continue to build on your career. Wow. So those are my tips on how to look for new opportunities in this different climate we are in. I'm looking for a position at the moment in this current climate. I want to wish you the very best. Keep positive, stay positive, and do the best that you can do. Don't forget, put yourself out there. Wake up every day. Look for something every day, apply every day, ask for help if you don't know what to do. And this is how to go about it. As always, I want to thank you so very much for joining me on this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please feel free to share with your friends and family. It's all free. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon on my next video. Bye.